Hey guys, welcome to Planes Over It. I hope you guys are doing good and I also hope you guys enjoyed the A320 technical series that I put up. So I thought I'll do a, a bit of performance as well. So I picked up this RTW chart here. So this is from uh, Begumpet uh, Airport in Hyderabad, India. So what I thought is, is I'll do a little bit of RTW charts and explanations in terms of calculating weight and flex temperature, V speeds and all of that. So uh, RTW charts, RTW stands for regulatory takeoff weight and it looks something like this. So on the top right corner here you have your uh, chart details. Uh, for example the date is given 13th April 2016 and the, the various codes are there which uh, signify what kind of uh, software has been used to do the calculations. Okay, uh, it's for the dry runway, runway 09 and 12 obstacles. Now this uh, this box here talks about your airfield uh, data such as the elevation TORA, TODA, ASDA, ISA temperature 12 degrees that is from 15 degrees at ISA, runway slope minus 0.25% from the runway 09 side. Okay and uh, takeoff is based on climbing on extended runway center line, pretty obvious. Lineup distance, takeoff distance ASDA is 17 meters slash 29 meters. Okay, anyway, uh, here on the top left corner talks about the aircraft type A320-214, engines on board are CFM56-5 Bravo. This box is very important to us, talks about the conditions and parameters that have been used to calculate this chart. Okay, so QNH 1013, air conditioning is off, anti-ice is off, all reverses operating, dry check, no reverses on dry runway. Okay, now this term dry check is very interesting here. Um, this one here dry check is very interesting because it is do not get confused with the terminology to looking for dry runway dry check is some completely different dry check now what happens is when you're doing calculations for a wet runway the screen height is supposed to be 15 feet and for the dry runway it is 35 feet so what happens is at times when you do calculations for max takeoff weight the max takeoff weight turns out to be more in the wet runway and less in the dry runway which is not acceptable it has to be just because the screen height has been reduced that doesn't mean you can carry more payload so this dry check term means so if actually in that case if it if happens then you have to compare both the wet chart and the dry chart and find the lower value and take the lower value of the chart but this dry check term signifies that this chart has been designed and catered for both wet and dry so you don't have to check both wet and dry runway so for example if you are uh, done your if you have done your calculations on a dry runway and you're taxing out and it suddenly rains you can still continue with these values and take off even on a wet runway it will have the same safety margin i hope that is clear now a typical rtw char chart looks like having uh, two different configurations in this case it is config 1 plus f and config 2 as you can see and there are wind certain wind uh, conditions given headwind 5 knots headwind 10 knots tailwind and wind okay now this chart is a weight type entry chart as you can see these are all weights in thousand kilogram okay so 64 tons 68 tons 70 tons and so on there's another type of chart called the temperature entry type chart which we shall not be discussing so this is a weight type chart i'll talk about the box now let me just consider this box here so this box is reading few certain values about which i'll talk so 42 this is the temp box temperature and is the maximum temperature permissible at that weight 4 by 4 are these are limitation codes which are there at the bottom of the chart i'll just show you in a while now 0.6 this is an important value here 0.6 it is called as delta weight now this box actually is calculated for 72.6 tons it is not 72 tons alone for the example this one here is for 70.4 tons this whole box signifies for 70.4 tons okay and the v speeds are 1494951 okay these are v1 v2 and vr sorry v1 vr v2 okay all right so next up we will talk about grad corrections as you can see here uh, this i'll discuss more in depth in detail uh, when we do the mtow calculation but all you have to know is these are corrections applied to 
weight only in terms of to find maximum takeoff weight possible the units are kilogram per celsius as you can see next here these are certain correct corrections that are to be applied in case of these conditions now if you saw this chart is actually made for air conditioning off qnh is standard and runway is dry but in case these conditions are actually existing so these corrections have to be applied influence of runway condition here uh, delta pressure influence of air conditioning all these conditions have to be applied so i'm just going to pick up a single box and explain to you guys uh, how it is really done so let me just take the boxes remain same for all the corrections so i'll just explain one box so now this here is your weight correction which is a decrement of 800 kilograms in case your qnh current qnh is below standard by 15 hectopascals as you can see here okay so in case suppose the qnh is say 998 then you will reduce 800 tons from the weight that you have calculated this minus 2 is temperature correction temperature correction you will pick up from these temperatures as you can see 64 all these temperatures that are that correction will be given to this the the bottom is v speed correction so v1 0 vr0 but v2 will be minus 1 okay so these are the corrections that are to be done now you can see there's a different box here and there's another box on the top now this one all these parameters are same but there's a value called 61 here plus 61 now this is actually very important it is called the tvmc it is the temperature value given per each column okay now what tvmc signifies is it is a fixtious value actually but it indicates a temperature above which if this if the temperature is above this 61 degrees then your v speeds are closer to vmcg and vmca limitations and hence you have to keep a check okay so you'll apply these corrections when the conditions are wet or the qnh is in within range and your air conditioning is on let's come to the bottom right of this chart so what is here is minimum v1 vr speeds that you you should have on this chart for this runway check for vmu limitation which we will do it in the calculations and vr v, uh, v1 vr v2 one knot per thousand kilogram now this is to do with your uh, cg so these charts are designed by 25 percent forward cg but in case if there is a cg that is 27 percent forward including the safety margin of course so this correction has to be applied okay and uh, now these values here are your values that signify in case of a single engine operation if you remember the procedures you have to accelerate at a certain altitude so generally for the airbus uh, 320 we have it as a 1500 feet standard value but in case your engine is still not secured above 1500 feet as well you can actually go up to 2659 feet above ground level and then level off you have to level off so that's the maximum acceleration height and on QNH it is 4400 when you add 1741 to it it becomes 4400 and uh, T ref reference temperature is 41 maximum temperature is 51 we will talk about this in the next video when we do grad corrections and all of that uh, here I was talking about limitation codes as you can see this box here limitation codes now you just pick up any uh, box say 7 by 9 here now 7 by 9 says your limitations are maximum weight and your vmu minimum unstick speed so you have to monitor keep this in mind when you take off so these are limitations for the certain box so yeah that's all about rtw explanation uh, we will do a more on uh, calculations part uh, in the next video we will perhaps do mtow or uh, flex temperature so i hope you guys enjoy this video and learn something about rtw charts it's very important to know if you're beginning your career so that's it from uh, planes over it today if you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel like the facebook page links are below in the description and uh, share this video as much as you can have a great day guys take care cheers bye bye